my God. Look at this delicious crowd right here, huh? Oh, God, I have so many good jokes for you guys tonight. Uh, but before we begin, I want to talk about something that's uh, rather serious. Um, do y'all like to take naps? Yes. Yeah. Fuck naps. <laughs> I don't take them. I refuse to wake up to my life twice in one day. <laughs> Seriously, what kind of a sick fuck goes, oh, oh, no, I think I'll have another. <laughs> you take naps, you're a rich, bougie fuck. Naps are for people who wake up and they're like, hey, I'm still rich, that's great, I think I'll watch a snuff tape. <laughs> you take naps, you wake up on Epstein's Island, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> you're like, oh, I had the most horrible dream, I was held accountable for my actions. And... <laughs> And you were there, and you were there, and I almost had sex with an adult, but then I woke up, thank God. <laughs> oh, fuck. I can read a room, I know y'all are Republican, okay? And I agree with you, sons of bitches. Healthcare should be a for-profit institution, absolutely. Every time I see a little kid with tumors, I'm like, well, hey, there's gold in them there hills. <laughs> Could all get a piece of it. <laughs> you guys, did you get into the Duck Dynasty when it was huge? We got Duck Dynasty folks in here. I, uh, I fuck with it. I think, uh, remember when Duck Dynasty, this is a very contemporary, this is a very uh, relevant joke. Remember when Duck Dynasty got in trouble for being homophobic? And he was like, marriage is between a man and a woman only. And people were like, oh my God, I thought they were progressive swamp dwellers. <laughs> As if the dude's gonna be like, I like five things in this life, drinking, fighting, fucking, rolling around in a swamp filth, and gay rights, damn it, who the hell do you think you're talking to? <laughs> I never shoot the gay ducks. <laughs> I see a breed of goose, I blow its fucking head off. <laughs> hey, uh, do you guys believe in God? Guys believe in God? I mean, I, I believe in God too. I mean, how could I not? It gave me this body, this cock, you know? Um, <laughs> he also, God saved my mother from Ted Bundy. Did you guys know this? Um, mother, uh, when I was the uh, ripe age of 14, mother uh, slapped me on her knee and was like, I want to tell you the story of when God saved me from Ted Bundy. She was like, I was going to the University of Utah where Bundy did much of his finest work and... Uh, I was gonna go down to a bonfire down in the canyon with some other kids, but I got a very strong feeling from the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit told me not to go to this party. So I didn't go, and wouldn't you know it, one of Bundy's victims vanished from this party. So God saved me from Ted Bundy. I was like, wow, mom, that's great. What about the actual victim? God's like, no, my child, I'm feeding another girl to Bundy tonight. You have another purpose. <laughs> I did that joke the other night and it, it crashed, obviously. And um, this woman came up to me and she was just like, how dare you joke about Tent Buddy? That's not appropriate. And I was like, ma'am, I appreciate the honest feedback and it takes a special breed to make me wish he was still with us. <laughs> You guys into astrology? <laughs> into this, I have this astrology. Have you seen this? Have you heard about this? I, uh, astrology's fun, you know, but I, you know, because you get to be like, oh, my birthday's the same day as William Shatner's. Maybe my life means shit too. <laughs> but people take it too seriously. They were like, you were born on this day at this time. That's who you are. Cool. What about trauma? You know, like, Mama, Uncle Joe molested me. God, you were such a Sagittarius, you know that? <laughs> Bold, cunning, begging to get molested. These are the traits of the Sagittarius. <laughs> when I saw you were born on November 25th, I was like, it might as well be a bullseye, seriously. <laughs> I, uh, I want to tell you guys something uh, kind of personal about myself. Uh, I I'm horny, I'm horny. Uh, <laughs> who's horny in here? Who's looking for PV, skin to skin? <laughs> Ladies, let's get one thing straight. If I ask you to get vaccinated for HPV, I'm interested. <laughs> I, um, here's the deal. I, um, I I'm horny, I'm horny. I, uh, I like to slide into the DMs. I like to slither into the DMs. And, um, I, uh, but 
isn't the scene notification just the most unnecessary technological achievement we've ever invented? Scene. We don't need, I don't need to see that she saw it. Can you just let me believe that she was killed before she could answer? <laughs> she saw it. She just didn't like it. <laughs> Like in the olden days, when you wrote your dearest Martha a love letter, you know, and you're like, dearest Martha, uh, I pine for you. I'm filled with passion. And she, you wrote her the fucking letter, and the postman came back, and he didn't have a letter from Martha, and you were like, oh, I guess Martha didn't receive the letter. He wasn't like, uh, I want you to read it. Uh, <laughs> shh, 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 it's over. It's over. I've been ordered to deliver this restraining order. <laughs> It's hard picking up chicks, you know, I'm, 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 I'm horny, I'm horny. Uh, it's unbecoming of a man to pick up women, though. I've been picked up by a woman. She, uh, she used me to her satisfaction and disposed of me. It was the greatest night of my life. Uh, no, I like easy chicks, dude. People shit on easy chicks are like, man, I fucked this girl, it was too easy. So, like, I've never been fucking a girl and been like, it's almost too easy. <laughs> Who's there? What's going on? I never get pussy. Who are you working for? <laughs> we got any fuck boys in here? Sexual predators, give me a shout out. What's going on? I'm a police officer. This comedian thing, it's a ruse. You hear me? You're all going to jail. No, I, uh... I used to be a fuckboy, all right? Registered sex lord, major fuckboy. But I changed. Doesn't, doesn't fuckboy sound like a superhero sidekick? You know, like, it's gentleman and fuckboy. <laughs> These girls gonna put out after we save them? That's not why we do it, fuckboy. <laughs> It's about altruism, damn it. Rescue her and wait for her to make the advance. Mm -hmm. Resent her if she does not. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I, I was a fuck boy for a while. I, and then I became a lover boy, a sweet romantic lover boy. And I, I went back to being a fuck boy because lover boys, way creepier than fuck boys. You know, a fuck boy looks at you and he's like, hey, I want to fuck you. But a lover boy looks at you and he's like, oh, I got big plans for you. <laughs> I'm gonna wrap you in plastic for all time. Guys, I've been Jackson Minks. You've been fantastic. Thank you so much. Keep it going for Jackson Banks, ladies and gentlemen.